Before we tackle strategies for the SAT, we must understand that because this exam is standardized, it is inherently easy. And I truly believe anyone who's gone through the academic system can easily score to their maximum potential because of how the SAT is so predictable. You can see here we have a chart analyzing the practice tests that are released publicly, and there is the percentage breakdown for each question type, the number of questions per section as well. And if you've taken a practice test where you've taken the SAT, you know that for the reading section, those first four or five questions are going to be your vocab questions, then you have your long reading passages, and then you have your grammar questions, and then the note card questions. It is all super predictable and is very similar to math if you map it out as well. And many of you are also aware of the College Board Question Bank, right? And you can go in there, and it is such a great resource because you can literally look at the different types of questions that the SAT is going to test you on, right? And this is what I mean by it's so predictable. You can truly prepare for the exam. You quite literally have a question bank with the types of questions that are going to be on the test. And there are a lot of cases where students actually find that some of the questions are exact copies that they see. Or if they are not exact copies, it is just a couple numbers switched around. So it's super valuable to go through that. But again, if they're recycling these questions, that's going to make it super easy to score to your maximum potential. Math sections and both the reading sections also rely on what we call parent models. I've done a video covering sort of how the SAT creates questions, but in essence, they have templates, right? They have a parent model. They're like, okay, this is the concept we want to test these kids on. And then we have this parent model, which is like the overarching basis of the question. And then they create multiple variations of it. And they do a bunch of testing and fancy Miss Fancy stuff to see what actually gets approved. But because of that, a lot of the questions are going to be very similar to each other because they're based off quite literally a template. So they can make tons of questions and test different kids without having like 60,000 overlaps. The thing to understand on the SAT is that your strategy approaching it is 100% more important than just your existing knowledge or intelligence, right? You can have a student who is still in algebra 2, hasn't even finished the course, and have them, because they've done the preparation and everything, and know the types of questions the SAT asks, perform better than a kid who's taking calculus BC. It's pretty wild. You can see some module 1 math questions, right? Like some of these questions are an absolute joke. They're freebies for 99% of students. And honestly, they're pretty much elementary math. And the fact that the hardest questions only test concepts up to algebra two is also another factor there about why your strategy is actually more important than just how much content you know. Also find that on the SAT, missing hard questions, you get docked less points than if you missed the easy question. I've talked about this many times before. So if you are that algebra two student, or maybe if you haven't taken algebra two and gone through all the content, well, you might miss the harder concepts because the hardest concepts are from algebra two. And then if you don't make any silly mistakes, you know, do what you're supposed to do, get all the algebra one concepts right, hopefully geometry is still fresh in your brain, you're going to lose minimal points. The last thing to understand about the SAT is that you can train it like a sport. There's tons of resources out there. One prep. We were actually one of the first YouTube channels to cover this website back then when it wasn't so popular, but it's basically the SAT question bank, but 10 times better. You have blue book practice tests, and then we've made also 200 plus videos on SAT math, SAT English, SAT strategy. Just tons of resources out there. There's also tons of other YouTubers who make great content. There is so much out there that you can utilize for free. There's no need for you to pay for some fancy prep course or anything. Everything is free online. You just need to put in the work and you will see the results. Last two things to take away is that if you review a question that you missed and understand truly why you missed it, that's more important than just doing 50 new questions. And the last one is to make sure you're consistent, right? 10 minutes a day for a month is better than two days of cramming for eight hours a day. That's all for this video. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you guys check out our other SAT videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one.